<laughs> your pops trying to get you arrested? Yeah. He, my pops don't run the government, though. Right, right. But, Damn. You know what I'm saying? He's very influential. So what it was was, obviously, you know, I was, when I actually left, like, decided that, you know, I want to face this music, like, mm. I was, I hid it so much from my family that mm. I don't know why I was just so reluctant to just tell them, like, this is what I want to do. But I was right. also, I don't know, because I'm just used to, I didn't want to disappoint them because right. I'm just used to how the family has always, we, this, is, this is generations of generations of going to school, doing even, the right thing. Even your godfather. My godfather, is my, he drove me from the hospital. That's my godfather. He's the richest black man in the world. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's, let's just rewind, y'all. Hold on, hold on, bear with me. But see, but let me tell you something. As much money that I've been saying, all this rich, this rich, that my dad is very disciplined. Wow. He's a very, it very disciplined. difference for you guys. You can't tell. Right. From, like, he's a very, very disciplined man. I said, I ain't know we had money till I was 13. <laughs> That's, that means a lot. Word. That's a lot. Very, my, well, my dad was a billionaire driving a like, Honda Accord. I'm telling you. He's a much better nigga than me. I'm telling you. <laughs> that's I'm telling I would have been that's out That's how there. people stay rich. Let me, you, let me, let me, let me tell you how I knew he was lit. Uh-huh. So, um... I love this shit, right? right? <laughs> I love this shit. So, some, I mean, something, something happened in Nigeria where, like, the area that we were living in, there was, like, a mistake, like, a bomb blast happened, and then, like, a lot of houses got destroyed. Did you say a bomb blast? Like, yeah, like... A, shit like that just happened sometime? I mean, just, you know, it, it happens in America. Damn, you, see, you right. You see? You right. You're right. You I'm judging. Uh -huh. I'm judging. You see? But I don't think I don't think you got white people out there. Because, no, of, because of, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying, when I'm I think about bomb. bomb blast, I'm sorry. I think of white people. No, I don't no. think of no niggas. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay, something, uh, <laughs> something, on something that, blew up. Explosion. Something blew up. Something happened. Okay. You know, a lot of houses got you okay. know, destroyed. Okay. And our first house growing up as a kid, so this is like from when I was born to when I was like 11. Right. So we had like an, it was, it was, it was a big compound, mm -hmm. we had like a bungalow, but mm -hmm. nothing crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, when you call it a compound. I mean, compound, <laughs> but it wasn't, it wasn't like. It's nothing crazy. It wasn't crazy. <laughs> so when that happened, we had to leave that day because the house got so fucked up. Uh -huh. So we leave. So my mom's like, oh, um, David, I'm leaving. We're going to the new house. I'm like, ah, new house. Okay. You're going to your other house, he said. She said new She's house. She's been building the house. Since like it's on the new part of town, like he's been building this. But I didn't. I was a kid. Like right, he wasn't. I didn't even know. It wasn't on your radar. So we just entered the car, started, started driving. For that, <laughs> I said, okay. <laughs> Boy was, my, and he still stays there now. Big, huge crib. So I'm, I'm like, Mommy, what, what was going? What like, what was going on? Like, then that's when I started realizing, like, uh, something's going on with right. this guy. Right. Do you understand? Something's going on with this guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dad, like, I'm on to you. Yeah, then, then over time, I just, like, grew to new. But, like, a lot of people, like, he's a very silent, like, my dad, I doesn't show, he doesn't, doesn't even, my, even my concerts, he picks the ones he comes comes to. Right. Like my dad would rather just have a one-on-one -on -one with me right. in, in closed doors. Right. Very, very disciplined man. Do you right. understand? Even with Uncle Aliko, uh -huh. the guy I'm talking about that is the richest black man. It's That's not your, like your godfather. Yeah. yeah. So the every richest time, black man in the world or yes. the, in, the, no, in he, Africa? The world. Is he one of the richest people in the world? No, he's the richest black man. Yes. Yeah. Every time I see, every time he sees me, you know what he tells me? I, you, you have to go and buy another car in the blog. You got, oh, you got Don't one. like you, I saw you bought another car. I said, oh, save your money. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. So, I thought you were gonna say buy another car. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. So I'm just telling you, like, apart from like, even like with success with my dad, he's a very very disciplined man. Right. And very very God fearing. You know, we've been opportune. He's given us so much opportunities. Me and my family. Right. Like even with the music, it's been very very supportive. All right. You know what I'm saying? You know, at first. He really just wanted me to finish school. Because at first he got your girlfriend arrested. He's wild. I, I said, wow. I, listen, let me tell you. If you if, if you book me for a show, the promoter, the crew, the, the people backstage, you that paid to come and watch me, you are going inside. You are a fan of me. Let's go. So like, 
because he wanted me to go back to school. Do you mm. understand? So mm. he was upset with you when you left. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Just you know what I'm saying? Like you send your you send you send your kid overseas, like. It's he's shocking. already done that with your siblings. See, listen, even one. when they told him, even when they told him, like, yo, David has not been in school, he was like, no, that's not my David. David can never. Right. Do you understand that right. feeling? So I'm like, ah! You hurt your dad. Bro. Yeah, so when, when everything casted, I said to myself, I said, I cannot, I said, the, 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 the how do they say it in America? The cat is out of the bag. The cat is out of the bag. Yeah. 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 I can never go home. <laughs> it disappoints me. Wow. Since he's, since everything is out, I must go home a champion. Like the next time my dad, I want my daddy to see me, he must be proud of me. Right. So that was really one of my reasons. That's dope, man. Right. Just the disappointment, I, I like, I would have been so hurt. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because like, imagine this shit wouldn't have worked. You would have been the only one. Wait, I said no. I said, yeah. I'm not going back home. <laughs> 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 so, so I was in London for a bit, and London is where I recorded the first couple of songs that I eventually dropped, mm. you know, that, you know, set me up. So I was in London for like four months. And Brixton? It, it, no, no, I was in, yeah, I was, I was like, I you know, was in <laughs> South. Why is it Brixton? No, I'm a, I'm a worldwide. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> His name is different places. It's right, man. Come on. What is that? that? <laughs> Warsaw, Poland? Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. I can keep going. I can keep going. I can keep going. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, after I've been in London for a while, so imagine I ran away. He don't call to school. They're like, yo, your son ain't been in school for a year. Mm. I was with the Jamaicans. You know what I'm saying? Jamaicans. So for a year, you're keeping it from your pops? Yeah, no. So I did two years. Right. I did my freshman year. I did my sophomore year. Freshman year, I got all A's. Mm. I'm good in school, though. Anything I want to focus on in this life, like I'm good. You're good, like, right? If I really sit down and want to focus. But your focus shifted. Because I just loved the music. I just loved the music so much. Right. So like during like the ending of my sophomore year, I started like flunking out in classes and stuff like that. So I just didn't go. So, you know, you remember I told you that yes. I told him that I want to transfer the credits yes. to Nigeria. To Nigeria. And then he told me, go back. Then when I went back. I was in Atlanta for like three days because I wanted to record music. So my phone went off. You know, normally you call me. Uh -huh. And I don't miss my dad's call because I don't want him calling the school or somebody right. else. Right. So my phone went off and he called the school like, oh, I want to talk to my son. He said, ah, your son has not been here for <laughs> one year. I'll never forget that. And it was, that time was like a Facebook era. I'll never forget. My big brother just wrote to me, daddy knows you. No, no, no. Facebook. 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 This time. You're my... Uh, you're yeah. my... Face. <laughs> you're yeah, my... Face. Face. <laughs> <laughs> right, calm down. Calm down, hey, Haitian hey, Nigeria. Calm down, Haitian Nigeria. Relax, Nigeria. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he about okay. to hit you on MySpace, though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, Facebook area, and my brother hit me. He like, yo, dad knows you've not been in school. I'm like, wow. as soon as I saw that message, I said... Did your brother know you wasn't in school, of though? Of course. Oh, like, he knew. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. You kept it real with him. Yeah. My siblings knew. So they're like, yep, so whatever you want to do, blah, blah. So I dipped to London. And this whole time in London, I'm trying to just figure it out. Like I told you, I was like, ah, I cannot go back home with disappointments. I can't, I can't. Mm -hmm. Then, um, yeah, it's time to go back home. And, you know, I gathered some money. I recorded some songs. Yeah. Um, like I said, I knew the, the, mm -hmm. the biggest artist at that time, the bunch. I already knew him from mm -hmm. him coming to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? I'm about to just go back home, thug it out, just be around, right. and just figure it out. Right. Bro, as soon as I get off the plane, the army grabbed me, bro. Oh, shit. Straight. That's when he did get you arrested. Huh? Because the last time yeah, I did No, he didn't, he didn't arrest me. At the show, you didn't he get didn't arrested. He didn't arrest me. He okay. escorted me <laughs> to his house. <laughs> they, they didn't, like, cuff me up and all that. Yeah. This is... This is some gangster shit. Put, I ain't gonna lie. He put this you is, on time this, out. This is yeah, some yeah, gangster so, shit. Yeah, yeah. 